So guys, welcome back to tutorials point. Now this, in this video, we will be getting started with the very first script of Selenium. So like, you know, the entire code for, Selenium, for the entire test case or the entire script would be written in the main method. Also, we would be using Java as our language as we have already discussed it before. So this would be my first Selenium script. It would be for setting up property, then we'll be firing up the web driver and I would try to get the google.com, the landing page of Google onto this one. So after this, I would be actually able to have a separate, you know, a separate web driver firing up, opening up the google.com page and then closing the browser. So let's quickly go to our uh, screens and see how the first, you know, how do we actually write the first script for the Selenium web driver. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Like uh, as we have already been able to set up the system successfully. Now in this uh, session or in this video, we will be seeing how do we actually fire up our very first application for this Selenium. So now for this, uh, I request you to open up your Selenium uh, setup. Yeah. So all the folder in which you have done the setup, the setup was including of uh, Eclipse, the Selenium jars. Uh, and along with it, we were having a Geekwood driver exe, right? So now what we will do is we will get started with launching of the Eclipse on the very starting. So after you have been able to launch the Eclipse, so the Eclipse is getting launched. After this, it would ask you to select a workspace, right? So guys, uh, now what is a workspace? A very common question. Uh, when you are studying you often keep your book subject wise you arrange your notes in a proper manner in a similar in a similar way all the projects that we want of a similar type or similar category to be stored in one place like for this for selenium particularly i have created a workspace as selenium underscore workspace this workspace is not a restriction you can name it anything you want and after this I click on OK. We have to be patient till Eclipse loads the entire workspace for us. So this is the workspace getting launched. This is my Eclipse uh, screen that is, I'm able to see. Here I'm having the Package Explorer. What do you mean by Package Explorer? In Package Explorer you will generally find uh, your projects or your packages that you can use or you know uh, would be would be a part of your further studies or your further projects like say what get started what we will do is we will include very first thing would be including a new project yes so I go to file I go to new I create a new Java project I name the Java project as selenium web driver I click on next I click on finish so this would be the structure. It would be having a JRE library 1.6 and would be having a SRC folder, right? So after this, we need to add the jars that we were, you know, referencing or that we have downloaded for Selenium because we need to now include all the Selenium jars into our package explorer so that we can successfully use them or run them into our application. So for this, I go to libraries, I go to add external jars and here I am adding this particular jar. All the jars that are there in, as a standalone and as a combination of the projects should be added up. The libraries and the standalone jars, all of these jars are required for running of Selenium, right? Yes. Now after this, we are good to add this and we click on OK. Now what we will do is in, into the source folder, we will go and create a new class, right? I named this class as my first script. And I click, I use the main method into this one. I click on finish. So. Now what is this? this? This main method actually is comprising of the entire functionality because in our programming languages, the execution for any programming language starts from the main method. Like if you are familiar with C++, there also you are using main and in Java also we use main. 
after this main method we are supposed to get started with our coding and would be including the web driver first and then would open up a web page and would see how it performs right so now let's get started with this activity now uh, if you are using your Firefox version till 47 then you don't need to set this property for all the remaining users you are needing to set this property now what this property is all about actually Firefox has given us a separate web driver for the purpose of you know our testing why do we need this basically you know uh, after uh, till for till the version 47 of Firefox we were using the standard or the very you know commonly used Firefox but now after 47 we set a property and in this property we have told that the web driver should actually run on the Geeko driver and are mentioning the location of this Geeko driver in currently in my system in the workspace folder itself I have placed this Geeko driver that's why I don't need to mention any other location right I'm just mentioning the driver itself but if you are using a uh, Geeko driver at some other location then you can mention to that location like it can be somewhere in your C in your D in your documents or in your or in your downloads also if you are developing on Windows then you need to mention the exact path or the exact extension of the file as well so on your on your Windows machine the code here should be something like this and it should point to the exact location say users desktop and then you get the geeko driver dot exe now in this way what will you, what will happen is you are actually mentioning this uh, you, this location of the driver where, where the driver is present and you are mentioning the file which is having the driver and would actually run up the browser or the driver for you so we are good till this one after this we actually create the object of web driver web driver driver equal to new first let us import this one driver equal to new Maronte driver new Maronte driver now after this I simply get the URL of the page I want to open up okay so now what you will do is we'll pass the URL which you want to open up I pass it as google.com after this I am just passing a console log saying that the Google page has opened up successfully here I quit my driver why I need to quit my driver is that because if I'm having this driver open it would be a wastage for my memory and my system because the browser or the driver would not close that instance of Firefox that is running so make sure you have you know quit your driver and after this we are again adding a small uh, log saying that the program execution has completed successfully now let us run this program uh, and then see the output so for running this program we just need to select this particular uh, Java file and run as Java application so this is my Firefox browser the driver that has opened up Okay, the window is closed. Now let me uh, start it once again. Let me minimize my Eclipse uh, like uh, to a center position, and then you will be able to see the actual execution. So, here's the Firefox window that, that added up. This is the window opening up. It has opened up google.com. The Google page should open up, and after this, the, the thread the driver will quit and we'll say that the window has been closed yeah so this was the very first uh, program for using our Cerulean web driver
so now uh, like after this you can practice opening a few uh, few other pages writing your own scripts and your and your own uh, you know uh, urls to be get this would help you to get a deeper understanding for this entire concept okay thank you guys for tuning in stay tuned as we take you through other concepts of webdriver